Okay, um, hello everyone. I just replying to a couple of e um, emails and comments that I've had about the XB modules, um, which are these little things. This is a standard XB um, with a, a wired antenna, um, which are available um, and quite often used for various microcontrollers, including a good old friend, the Arduino. Um, that's the the Arduino. Um, just to let everyone know, is actually the board and the the whole thing. The program uh, sits on this, which is an Atmel one six eight or various other types, um, including. I just grab this. Oh God. Um, um, this is my Plastruder, and on there is a surface mount Atmel chip. This is the Atmel 16820AU, um, which again has been bootstrapped with the Arduino program. You can do that using a standard um, Atmel uh, uh, programmer, which I bought mine from Umlaut, O-O-M-L-O-U-T, and that's .co.uk, that's an English company. Um, and I also bought a couple of these things from them as well. Now what I've got here is, um, I've got this one, this is the basic XB board, um, and this is a motherboard which sits on the standard pins for the Arduino, so it just plugs in, like that. Now, there's also another option which is uh, the larger ones, and I've got two of them here. Um, and these allow you to have all your connectors through here as well. Um, and then there's a little controller. Um, I think it's a Darlington pair. I'm not too sure. I should have looked at that before I did this video. But um, you've also got the, the reset for the XB and the reset for the Arduino which on the other one you've only got the reset for the XB so this is quite a good one um, what you'll notice on the XB is that you've got all these pinouts um, either side of the chip and they link directly to the the legs on the the XB and what you can do is if um, if we have a look at these we've got um, a PWM output we have um, digital outputs um, and then also some voltage and then on the other side we've got some more outputs as well um, we've got um, PWM0 as well we also have data in and data out which are your TX and RX or transmit and receive chip pins and then on this side yeah we've got um, input output 0, 2 three, six, five, seven, and four at the bottom. Um, and that's all labeled on there. Okay, now some people have been asking me about connecting it to the computer. Um, I did this for one of my projects and it's still an ongoing project. But when you connect the XB to your Arduino, what you're doing is the TX and the RX pins, which are pin 0 and 1, so these two down here, they link up with the Arduino, the Atmel chip. Now when you um, program your Arduino, you connect your USB port, your USB in, and that goes to the RS232 chip. Um, and then that communicates to this chip using the RX232, um, using the TX and the RX chip. Now, if you've got that connected as well, there may be errors with the compiling because what you're doing is you're sending the data to the the uh, Arduino chip, the Atmel chip, and also to the XB. So you're actually broadcasting that information. So that's where you get errors because the XB is going, okay, I've received that packet, I've received that packet, I've received that packet on the same line that the, um, the Atmel chip's going, oh, I've received that, I've received that, I've received that. 
So there's some confusion and that's why it doesn't compile. So when you compile your XB and you've got the, the board attached, either take out the XB, take off both of the jumpers, or a lot easier, just take off the board, because then you can just plug it back on. And that will allow you to program the Arduino. What about if you're wanting to program this separately from this one which is connected to the computer, i.e. this is a USB to Wi-Fi um, to wireless to your wireless project with your Arduino. What you will need to do, there's a bit of programming. Um, if you have a look at something called Maxuino, no, forget that. Um, if you have a look, hmm, I think I'll have to add a link, won't I? Okay. What you will need to do with this, say this is the one that you're connecting to your computer to connect to number two, which is over here. Um, I should be able to mirror it. That'd be quite cool if I could do that. No. I can have a melon on my head, though. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's enough of that. How do I get it back? Uh, I don't know. Ah, okay. I think I've messed up a little bit. Okay, well, sorry about the hat. I'll keep my head still so it doesn't distract. Um, oh, will that do it? Yeah, there we go. Um, so I've just got this new laptop. What you will need to do is take off the um, chip. There's a couple of ways to do this. What I tend to do is just wedge a, a flathead screwdriver in between and slowly ease it up. So it's like, like that. And then on the other side, just slowly ease it up as well. You can get special um, holders that do it. But once that's taken out, it means that the TX and the RX signals aren't going to a microcontroller that's going to fluff everything up. It's going to here. And then when you connect your XB up, all you're doing is sending you, you're receiving and transmitting data to here. So on the receiver, this is plugged into an Arduino, imagine. Um, you will then have the information coming from the Atmel through the RX and TX pins to this. So you'll transmit data to here, to the, um, the receive pin, and then TX will go over the air and be picked up by this which will then be sent to the RS232 pin which will then be read to the XB, uh, to the computer. Now also if you wanted to configure the XB um, to receive data and then set, set different outputs um, you can do that also and that involves a piece of software called XCTU um, it's available online through the MacStream website and um, the next video I will do will be um, having a look at that so we can get some communications going. Um, but that's the basics and um, yeah, if you want any information just give me an email, um, just send an email through YouTube and then I can reply back to you. Um, but for the others that are wanting to uh, wait for the other information, um, give me a couple of days and I'll see if I can get that done for you. Cool. Woof, woof. <laughs> Even blinks. Bye.